Hi everyone, welcome! I'm very pleased to see you here as I'm going to talk about one of my favorite activities to do for the past 4 years, which is journaling. I started this habit when I had an opportunity to live abroad. I think it's just the best way for me to commemorate the simplest thing in life that turned out to be great. I used to do ballet journaling with colorful pencils, highlighters, and stickers. It does suit me in a very special way and I do really enjoy watching other people's videos on that. But the thing is, as I grow older and my activities change, I do feel like while well, journaling has become so burdensome if I focus more on getting creative, and I think my brain is just being too crowded for that. <laughs> so today, I would like to share how I minimize my bullet journal so that you could try it by yourself as a beginner, but still having them serving your main purpose. Now let's get journaling with me for March 2024. First is to start with an empty page in your favorite pen. I'm right here dedicating this very first fresh page with all the things that I'll be focusing on this month. It could be in a form of monthly to-do list as I always plan my goals at work and what I could produce in the next 31 days. And I also leave spaces here for any content ideas and brain dumps that have been running on my mind or suddenly came, especially the ones that you find in the shower and even when commuting to work. As I'm also trying to be more mindful on my spending, I've been trying to limit my expense on impulsive purchases. Therefore, I usually create a wish list if I have something that I really want to purchase but out of my budget range for this month. One of the things that I want to focus more this year is to improve my consistency in building such a system consisting of meaningful habits. As I look back in 2023, there might be some of the times where I was being dragged like following how the river flows. It's comfortable, but I don't think that it will be taking me to places that I'm wanting. So if I don't start chasing myself now, I'm afraid that I will be dragged too far. So, I'm starting to build specific habit lists that I believe will help me to shape myself better, consisting all related to physical, mental, and spiritual And I try to reflect better on how I react onto some days and how satisfied I am spending the day by using my mood tracker in a form of simple graph where I could track the fluctuations of mood that I had throughout the month. This helps me to understand myself better so that I can improve in controlling my moods and emotions by being less reactive. Let's continue into the next page. This is the new page that I decided to create, which is the box of productivity. This aims to depict how productive and efficient I am in spending my day. Each box will be color-coded that represents the scale of productivity, starting from green when I have the most productive day and succeeded to finish all my work, doing extra study from online courses, and even creating content. Yellow is for when I feel like I'm in my average performance, doing the bare minimum of tasks that I need to do, and maybe just spending most of the day listening to the meetings. And red is when I feel I need a rest, or maybe I'm just being so in a bad mood to do anything meaningful. I will color the edge of each box that represents every single day of the month with a highlighter and writing down the highlights of my work so I could recall the satisfaction of completing such tasks as well as a reminder to stay focused for the upcoming days. So, the next page is just a simple line-by-line -line layout that I can write down every day. And here comes the list of what I've been paying attention more on lately, which is to keep track about my intakes, and intakes meaning what I ate for the whole day, so I could see the pattern on what I decided to eat and its relations to my daily mood. This could show how well I am in controlling the temptation to overeat, and the strength that I possess in restraining myself to eat junk food. The outtakes meaning how I burn those calories away. Although I'm not really focusing on following specific diet and being dedicated to one certain type of exercises, but I do want to keep the record on how I stay active and moving my body despite of taking anything I want as dinner or lunch, and also sparing my time to fit in this exercise plan in my daily schedule. And lastly, I would like to show you how I create my favorite pages of all time. It's the weekly and daily log, where I keep track of everything I do for a day and having a consolidated view for a week. So I prepare two pages for each week, and I prepare the simple layout to time blocks and listing all my to-do items in each day. This is very helpful for me to stay reminded of the upcoming things that I have planned in the previous week, and plotting those into specific time blocks that is available. Therefore, I can get a better view in preparing my day by the activities the night before and how I fill those empty time blocks for my own.
Although, sometimes it's really hard to plan due to the uncertainty, especially for me as a worker in a tech company. But you should always be reminded that you can control what you can control. After a long day, I often complete the list after the day ended with such unexpected things, especially when you are meeting with someone important or even trying something new. I think it is a good way to record how great the quality of your precious time was spent, right? And I do really hope that this could also inspire you to start one as well. So, any of you guys here do bullet journaling too? Let me know how do you create it or share with me if you have any ideas on how you fill those blank pages. I would love to hear others' experience on how journaling makes a difference to their life. Well, thank you very much for watching today's video. Have a good day everyone!